I didn't know all of this at this point, but as I look back and reflect on all of these things, it's everywhere you look. Pretty much everything that anybody tells you is not the thing that they want to speak about. It's not the reason. It's always something else. And the best part about that is it's exactly the same with your patients. Whatever they're telling you, it's two or three things deeper, always. It would be wonderful and liberating if a patient rang you up and gave you the real, real, real reasons as to why they didn't want to do your new program. It would be great. Instead of saying, yep, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, that sounds fine. Yep, yeah, I think we're gonna do this in two weeks. And you're thinking, oh great, wonderful. We've communicated really well with you. And why wouldn't I think that way? Because all of the signs that you're giving me are that you're happy, you're on board, you're gonna do this. And then you get an email a week later that completely torpedoes you and you just think, what the hell, where did that come from? Cancel all my appointments, cancel everything. I'm never coming back. And uh, thanks for everything you've done. And I'll let you know. Does that happen to you? That's like, it happens everywhere. And it would be wonderful if the patient did actually tell you their reasons. But here's the best bit, or the bit to understand, they don't know how to do it. They, they genuinely don't know how to do it. And you can get as frustrated as you want, and you can think, you know, why didn't they just say that the, the, the husband had a few concerns, or the wife had a few concerns, or, you know, there was a big bill landed on their doorstep that week, and they needed to pay three grand towards the car. And that sent them into a hissy fit of emotional drama and a fight with somebody in their house and the first thing that got whacked was you because that's probably the reality of it you were caught in an emotional situation uh, an irrational uh, behavior followed that cut you from their well completely they do go and find a cheaper provider and what will happen is they're probably for the next six to twelve months unhappy with it but they can't go back because they think like they've cut the cord and that's pretty much again how a lot of us live our life we do things and we say things that we didn't really mean at that point. We don't even know why we did it. But then we're stupidly going to live with the consequences of it for however many months after, instead of just ringing back up and go, you know what, Christine, I sent you this email three weeks ago. I really shouldn't have. I'm really, really sorry for everything I said in that email and I was completely out of order. You just caught me on a hop and I was just not prepared for what the price was going to be. But having had three weeks to think about it, yeah, I think you are actually worth the money. Wouldn't that be wonderful? that an adult could actually do that. But the reality is that they can't. Uh, but it's probably what many of them are thinking of anybody who leaves here over the next few weeks and months because of the new model. That is going on. That will be happening. There will be an initial one or two weeks of, great, we found somewhere cheaper, and they'll feel slightly better because of that, and they'll be vindicated because they're getting an extra 40 or $50 in their pocket every time they go. But over a two or three month period, when they're not getting exactly what you guys have provided, it'll piss them off. And therefore, most of what you have to focus in on is that you are gonna lose some people, but it's what happens next, where your growth is gonna come. And that's what I think today will probably dominate. I possibly can't get you any better on the phone and I possibly can't get you any, whatever you're doing, you're gonna do and you're always gonna lose a few people in discoveries and, and phone calls. But what I can instill in you is that belief that that is what is going to go on and in two or three months everybody should be getting something whether it's a phone call a letter a package you imagine i've had a situation in my office where patients have said no 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 and we've sent them a book we've sent them one of my books folded over the page at whatever back pain you know with the back pains it starts at page 52 and it's just dear sally sorry i didn't get a chance to help you you know have this on me you know help yourself 24 hours later they've called and booked an appointment it was nothing whatsoever to do with them never having money. It was always the fact that there was no trust. They didn't quite believe in it. They uh, had doubts about me, about what we do, our trustworthiness, about our ability to be as sincere as we sound. Ridiculous things go on in your, in your head. And that tiny little gesture of a $3 book gets somebody over the line to spend $1,000 with you. You imagine in this place in three months time, a big fucking box lands on these people's doors. A big fucking box of toys, teddies, fucking Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, all sorts of shit. Like on their birthday, they're pulling out cards and streamers and whatever else, right? That comes from Breakthrough Physical Therapy that says, hey, it's been three months. We're still thinking about you. How's your new treatment going? You know, if you need to talk to us, uh, we're still here. We've got a gap, you know, blah, blah, blah. We are here and we will not be giving up on you. 
Three months later, that happens again. It's a fucking bigger box. This time it's a twice the size of Mickey Mouse and now it's the real fucking, to the point of being the biggest soft cuddly toy you can ever find that gets shipped to this kid's house. Even better, it's something that they absolutely love that you probably already know about them, whether it's Power Rangers right now or it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or whatever. Ship them something through the post and make it routine every three, six, nine, 12 months so that you're not ever worrying about if somebody leaves you today. If you worry about today, you'll always stay stuck in today. I try to live with the bigger picture view of if you lose me, if I lose you today, that's fine. The game just starts again. I got you in the first place, I'll get you again. And it's actually easier to get somebody again than it is in the first place. So start to think like that. This is a relationship that you're gonna have with these kids for life. He's the best bit. You're gonna have a relationship with these kids for life. If I leave you with nothing else, it's gonna be this. You're gonna have a relationship with these kids for life. Ideally, you get paid for it. Does that make sense? Do you get it? You're gonna have a relationship with all of these kids who anybody who makes contact with this business for life. Ideally, they'll pay you for it. And what that means is, no matter whether they're gonna give you any money, doesn't that mean whether they're gonna frequent this place? Anybody who shows an interest in this business, I'm gonna encourage you to start a lifelong relationship with them, whether they wanna give you money or not. It will liberate you, it will set you free, it will completely take any fear, any doubt, any this is all about money, anything that you're stupidly running through your head right now that says people are accusing you of something or they don't like the fact that you're charging more money. When you start to have that type of focus or that type of mentality, it'll completely set you free from it. It'll, it'll not only bring more people back, but it'll make you feel even better about what you do. It'll make all of these phone calls, all of these conversations so much easier knowing that whatever you say, this will not be the last one we have. This will not be the last treatment. It may put it on hold for six months or 12 months or 18 months, but it will not be the end. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books where you can find my best selling books which will show you how to add more profit to your practice. Or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic. And by the way, if you know anybody who would find this helpful, please share this video out. Thanks so much.